Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable guest Wi-Fi on Virgin Media. So what you want to do is um, go to your router's um, web page, main page, welcome page, and log in. If you don't know what to do about that, then I will link in the description um, one of my previous videos on how to log into the Virgin Media router. So once you've uh, just paused this and go to that video and figure out how to do it and then come back here and then log in on pause and so on. So what you want to do is you want to go to advanced settings and then you want to click wireless. And then for some strange reason they've <coughs> they've named it to guest network instead of guest Wi-Fi. So you click guest network. Yay. And then to enable it we'll click enable guest network and then you also say VM and loads of crappy numbers unless you've changed it. But here I've just put a man to guest, so just change it to whatever you want as long as it says guest on the end. Um, broadcast, yes, security, w WPA2 is the best you'll get. And then Wi-Fi password, so I'm going to change this because there's no way I'll remember that in a million years. Um, I've already typed one, so it should show up. Yeah, we'll put it that one, Virgin Router 2020. Simple to remember and easy. So while I apply that, I'm going to explain what the guest network actually does. What it does is it um, creates a virtual network um, so it can access any of your network, your internal network, any of your devices connected to your router, say a storage device, NAS, a Plex server, your Samsung TV, your smart TV, sorry. So if, if someone connects to your Wi-Fi, they're not casting to your TV all the time and changing it over, it's, it's really annoying. But I think they've got um, allow or, or block. Uh, notifications on there anyway um, but basically it gives them access to internet but not your network so they can't see nothing on your network they can't give your network a virus or anything unless they're good hackers but anyway so that should be applied now so let's take a look on the f on my phone what we're gonna see so I'll set Rick's screen recording on my phone there we go so I need to go into Wi-Fi settings as you can see I'm connected to Oh, it's connecting already, look. There you go. It'll come up as Mantic Guest, which one I've done. Um, the 5G's gone off for some strange reason. But I think it's making a 2G and a 5G Mantic Guest. So it's it's brought out two more Wi-Fi signals, but they're both named the same, so you're not going to see see them. Um, hmm, 5G's disappeared. It's probably still restarting that. Let's give it another refresh. One more. Mm, one more refresh. Nope, no idea why that's doing that. Right, let's go on Wi Fi Analyzer. Yes, there we go. So, there it is. You've got Mana Guest. There's one on 2G. Um, so, I use VCL Player to play films off my storage and as you can see no connection to local storage i can't get to anything on my network i can't see the cameras let's have a look might be able to see the cameras because they work in a different way yeah they work in a different way they they totally bypass that through a different way um but as you can see i've got no network access to anything on my network um let's change that over to 2g let's go back to 5g two minutes no my look the nas is probably turned off and it won't work there we go full access to local network my computer server and server and there should be another one coming up any second so what it does is it just lets people be a guest on your network give them internet and no lan access so let me know in the comments if you've got any problems or any questions and um, sub and like if you can. See you, bye bye.